The New Killer by Amer the Sorrow Killer. This is my about how I was made a killer. I swore an oath to try and kill Jeff the Killer with Jane because this story is about how he made me one of the killers. When Jane was sent to hospital because of the blazing house of Jeff's, I saw the entire thing. I was watching Jane, but she never noticed me because her eyes were focusing at Jeff and his knife tapping the window off his house. He was also looking at her with a devious smile. I could see he was doing that because Jane was creeped out. The next thing I know is that Jane is gone, and after a while Jeff twitched his head and looked at me. I looked away for a slight second and the next thing I knew was that Jane went out her house with a kitchen knife. And I was thinking, Jane, don't go in there. You'll get yourself freaking killed. But it was too late. She was hesitating as she was about to open the door. And then the next thing I knew, she went in. And then after an hour or so, I heard screaming, the voice of an elf. And then the house was blazing with fire, and then I discovered I could only speak in run-on sentences. The next thing I knew was that fire trucks were swarming the whole neighborhood. Everyone was looking at the blazing house. The flames were so powerful, and then the next thing I knew, there were several bodies burnt being pulled out from the house, including Jane, but she had a white face. Quotation mark, Jeff must have bleached her and set fire to her face, end quotation mark, but I forget all about it because I was so tired and put it aside and just went to sleep for ellipses. When I woke up, I gasped and was shocked and I trembled in fear as I looked to the side of my wall. There was writing wrote in blood saying, I'm going to enjoy killing you today, Jeff. I was so nervous so I went out my room forgetting to wear my clothes, and then when I went into he dining room, I was screaming and sobbing as I looked at my parents and my siblings. They were all dead. Jeff, you've gone too far, you f I thought to myself as I was being claustrophobic of thinking Jeff killing my family at night. My family's faces were carved with smiles just like Jeff's smile that I saw last night plus they had bloody torsos a size of a basketball and I was too paralyzed in fear so call the cops because I was having thoughts that Jeff would kill me by surprise when I was talking. So I just went to my room, looking at his writing once more, and I was so furious that I punched the wall so hard my fist went through it, and I thought to myself, tonight at midnight, Jeff, I'm going to assassinate you for doing this to my family. So I just put on my clothes and went to school, still after the incident that happened to my beloved family. I was not gonna tell my friends though, because it was my business and I had to settle it at midnight, but I could not stop frowning because every second I was thinking about my family and their carved smiles. Even at recess and lunch I was still frowning and I could not be bothered to play and after a while my friends came to sit down with me and said, what happened, Amer? I didn't reply at all. Then some girls came and asked me the same thing, but I just walked away. At the end of school, with two L's, just ran to my house because I could be bothered wasting my time talking to YM friends and saying goodbye at all. It was 12.00 at midnight, and I had a knife in my hand gripped tightly, ready to assassinate Jeff. Then I heard a shatter and I was ready to take him on, he opened the door of my room and said his phrase, go to sleep. He tried to aim at my head, but he missed and got me in the cheeks instead. I screamed in pain because half of my face was ripped off, and then I heard another shatter and thought it was a trespasser, but I did not have time to worry about the trespasser. I was trying to kill Jeff, but Jeff said, back up, huh? Don't worry, I'll kill him. But what Jeff didn't know was that the imposter kicked the door opened and Jeff was slammed against my bed. The trespasser was a girl 
judging by her long hair, and she was wearing a creepy mask, but Jeff was not satisfied with a why at all being hurt. He was chuckling and saying, Ah, Jane, you look more beautiful than ever with that mask and fake wig. I was really startled and said, Jane, is that you? She replied and said, Yes, it's me. Jane Everlasting here to kill Jeff. Now stay out of the way. I asked her how she knew Jeff was here, but she didn't reply at all because Jeff had a trick up his sleeve and he kicked Jane into his stomach and got a knife and threw it at me, but I dodged it. Then he threw another, but I didn't dodge, but it went to the side of my eye so it didn't go to my brain. I screamed in agony and forget about the pain and fought against it. Then I charged at Jeff. I speared him in the torso and I kept on stabbing him in the shoulder. And I was about to stab him in the brain when he punched me in the face and tripped me and was about to stab Jane in the brain, but I got up and threw the knife at his hand, which he was holding his knife with, and got him. He screamed and said, next time you will not be so lucky, and he bailed. I told Jane, don't worry Jane, I weakened him, so next time we will get our vengeance. Jane replied, but you injured also half of your face, was ripped off by a knife he threw for some reason, and you only have one good eye. I know, Jane, but it does not matter. I am one of the killers now. This is my story. Draw my face if you think you can describe me.